Thank you, Jake. I'm here in Oscoda for the fourth annual Blue and White Scrimmage Night, where fans got to eat, meet, and greet while watching their fans this year. They hosted Ugly and Bad X. And let's talk about the Owls from last year. They were 8 and 2. This year they lack in size. Well, let's see if that speed could do the trick. The Owls made a few big plays on offense, including this deep pass from senior Braden Malik to Gabe Kelstrom, who was the kicker last season. And the Malik to Owen Franklin connection is still clutch. Check out the All-State receiver battling up top for the catch. On defense, the Owls are strong up front. Adam Hine never gives up on this play, the initial push and then tackle. And here's Christian Ward with good vision, sees the bad snap and grabs the loose fumble. But a few blown plays on coverage left guys like this ugly receiver wide open. Head coach Mark Whitley is prepared to make adjustments before game week. We're going to have to work on quite a bit of things as far as our blocking assignments. You know, and you know we're not we're not this super young team, um, so we need to make sure we make blocks and go to where you're supposed to be. Um, I, I think the adjustments that we need to make are, are fixable. The Owls have one week left before facing Houghton Lake, the same team that beat them last season. And they'll play at 7 p.m. right here in Oscoda.